Now all F1 visa interviews have some questions asked about the course in one way or the other. But when we analyze the F1 visa interviews which happened last month, that is in April 2023, we saw an increased focus being placed by the visa officer on this category of questions why this course, compared to all the previous intakes and the previous interviews which have happened. In fact, there were many interviews in which multiple questions were asked about the course. So before we jump into understanding how to structure the answers and framing our answers, let's take a look at a complete question bank for why this course category and see all the different questions that were asked in the visa interviews. So here's your question bank for why this course. Number one, which course are you going for? Number two, is it a master's or a bachelor's? Number three, what's your specialization? Number four, which subjects are you taking? Number five, how will this course help you in the future? Number six, why this course? Number seven, how many courses are you taking per semester? Number eight, what are the names of your first semester subjects? Number nine, what is the difference between X and Y? So basically, this is the technical questions that were asked. These officers would pick names of any two courses that you have told and ask you, what is the difference between X and Y? Number 10, which subjects excites you the most? Number 11, how many semesters do you have in this course? Number 12, do you know of any capstone project that you will be doing in the course? So these 12 questions were essentially all the questions asked about why this course category in the April 2023 visa interviews. So make sure that you go through this checklist and prepare yourself. In fact, if you observe the interviews which happened in April 23, you'll also observe that why this course question has been asked not once but twice in many interviews. So the same question has been asked twice by the visa officer. So why does this happen? This happens when the first answer that you gave to the visa officer is not fully convincing or he feels that he does not have all the information required to make his decision. So he might ask you some other questions and then come back and ask you again. But why this course? So this way, he's hoping that you would give him some more information and some more convincing points which will help him to approve your visa. So now that we've understood what are the categories of questions asked for why this course, let's jump into answer structuring. We will look at certain do's and don'ts to help you frame this answer. We are starting with the do's. Number one, short answers. It's a huge misconception that in visa interviews, you need to speak really less and you need to give short sentence or one-line answers. Now, for questions like why this course, unless you explain yourself to the visa officer, there is no way he's going to be convinced or understand your profile. So do not pressurize yourself to give short one-word answers or one-line answers. Why this course answer needs to be descriptive, you need to explain yourself to the visa officer and this answer should be at least three to four lines. What is required here is that you practice this really well so that when you speak, you're able to speak quickly, fluently, and finish your answer before the visa officer interrupts you. The second don't, being extremely broad and generic. In this answer for why this course, if you're going to include broad and generic terms about your career goal, future plan, and about the course itself, then the answer is going to sound extremely rundown, very common, which the visa officer would have heard a million times, and he might not even pay attention to you while they were answering. So, you need to be really careful and not to use any of these generic terms. Some of the most common ones that we come across when we interact with students are adds value to my career, will land me a good opportunity, I can work in a top MNC, I will learn what I lack, it's a continuation of my undergrad degree, I will gain skills which I'm missing, I can upgrade my skill set. So check the answer that you frame for why this course and if your answer has any of these generic terms, cut it out right now and replace it with more specific details, which we will get to in just a little bit. The third don't, missing details. Now details is the spice of this answer. So if your why this course answer is missing details of your course, of your work experience or academics or your future plan, then you need to include that in this answer. Then the details go missing, the answer lacks the punch and lacks the convincing power. So these are the three don'ts for answering this question, why this goes. So make sure that you do not do this in the visa interview. And to put it all together and get a better understanding, we have a sample answer for you. And this sample answer will show you exactly what not to do in the visa interview. So just observe closely. Hi there. In 2010, Luxon started. Hi, good morning. So which course? Any? Any specialization? Gender? Why this course? 
It will help me get better jobs in top MNCs. But why this course now? I wanted to study this to upgrade myself. If I do an MBA, I can easily work at manager level roles in top MNCs. If you're still here, still watching the video, do give this a thumbs up and comment down below and let us know which course and which university you're going for. So comment down right below and let us know the name of your course and your university.